sorry to keep you waiting, but I had a detour by the lake. I was listening to an orchestra that was playing beautiful music in my head, which is the main reason I've asked to meet you out here. And I thought you as a camera would appreciate the wonderful surroundings. And apart from the birds and a few planes, there's no one here to overhear us. Anyway, this is the plan. It's about a journey, a great adventure I'm on. I want to see if it's possible to turn this vision into reality. And I'd like you to document the story. Okay, I'll tell you all about it and be as brief as I can. My life as a cook at a country pub was in no way special, except it was hard, hard work, sweating over those hot ovens. I dreamt of better things, but I was married with a family who depended on me and I was not qualified for anything else. So for me, this was it. But fate had other ideas. One evening, I was cooking for a party of Christmas diners and a time of merriment turned into a night of chaos and hell. My son Ben died suddenly in very tragic circumstances. I can only describe the following days as devastating. I had so many dreams of watching Ben grow up, and they were all crushed. On the night of his funeral, there was no sleep. I've not slept since. I entered a twilight zone. I could not understand it and became very confused. But this night, I had a startling vision. I was reliving a moment at the graveside and thought I saw angels come down from the sky and take Ben's soul into heaven. It was a really comforting dream. A voice from one of the angels said, remember everything. I'm going to give you a special gift and Ben is safe now. And she sang a beautiful song. Listen. I wanted to be with Ben so much, I felt I died along with him. Because from that moment, I was not the same person. I started to do and say things that definitely wasn't me. I began to hear wonderful music in my head. Not just heard it, but saw it being performed. I can remember each note of every piece of music that enters my mind. And for me, this is a sign. The music has become some sort of a roadmap for the future. Anyway, when it started, it's never stopped. I see so many incredible things in my dreams. In one, I'm in the Sahara Desert, composing a song for a major charity concert that I've organized in deepest Africa. Every night, working in the kitchen, I could see this vision in front of me. Then I saw a tall black singer performing my song. It was so real, I could touch it. I made a decision to follow the dreams. The old me would never have jeopardized my family or job in any way. But this new person dropped everything, walked out of the pub, out of my marriage, and into a totally alien world. Leaving my daughters was the worst, and I knew there was no way my wife could support such madness. 
I mean, I told her I was going to make a film, compose music to be performed by the world's greatest orchestras and many other impossible stories. Here I was, a cook with no knowledge of any of these things. No one believed I would just walk out like that. It was ridiculous and my return was expected within days. Must be seriously mentally disturbed because of Ben's death was what most people thought. With no money and no facilities, I left. And that night found myself aimlessly wandering around the streets of London. <laughs>